What is going on gamers? Avatrix here again and it looks like here be Monsters T did win as far as the comment votes. Uh, it won by about 10 so it was kind of close but it did win um, by ar around double digits so we're going to be doing the here be Monsters T versus Destroyer 9 of 9 video today. And we're just going to go ahead here and go over the heroes that we're going to be using and the base. Now the base, I basically just got off of the, the Here Be Monsters leaderboard. Uh, I was looking at this base and it looks pretty legit. So hopefully it can come through for us. Um, now as far as the actual corner design, it, it is kind of the same, um, you know, same, same uh, idea. Now the heroes, of course, we want Vlad over here to, um, to always try to attack the flyers that come through. Because in Hebrew Monsters T, there is actually a lot of flyers. Now, we do have the Destroyer up here. Because when he procs, unlike Mino, he actually does hit flyers as well. So, that can also be crucial. Of course, we have the Cupid. And we have the Pumpkin Duke. Those are pretty much must-haves. Of course, we have Druid. Um, we do need heals. And for my last hero, I went with Multanica over Santa Boom. Just because Maltanica's proc is more controlled and it can definitely help uh, on the last bosses to lower their attack and um, and sp attack speed and all of that. Whereas Santa Boom can usually kill himself. But maybe was, that's what we can do. Maybe play around in if we can't beat it today. Which I don't really expect to if nobody has beaten it yet. But maybe we can get lucky. Maybe, you know, switch out Maltanica for Santa Boom or try different variations. Maybe different locations. Because um, I know you guys will always have some sort of opinion. So let me know what you think. Um, now another thing that I wanted to point out and show you guys is the crest. I did kind of uh, change some things around just for the Here Be Monster T-Wave. The first one is obvious. Druid with a revive crest. Because if Druid dies, you're pretty much not going to get anywhere unless you get unholy luckily. And then of course Pumpkin Duke with the revive. That's not changing. Who else is in here? Cupid with the slowdown just in case it's needed for the bosses. Now here's a change. Maltanica with revive. He usually has slowdown but again Maltanica can be very crucial in these waves. Then of course Vlad with the war god because Vlad is just there to demolish everything. So the more damage he does the better. And he has an innate revive. That's his main talent. So that's another revive on the team. And of course the last one is destroyer. With another set of revive. That's right. I have four sets of revive. And Vlad Dracula has a revive main talent. So really, the only one that would die and stay dead is Cupid. So Cupid, you know, you're an angel. So, you know, try to revive yourself. Something like that. All right. So, here we go. Let's see what Destroyer can do in the Here Be Monsters T for terror. Got my bombs all set up. Wow, the game picked it for me. Look at that. I didn't pick that. It already knows. See, the game knows. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, so we didn't actually get a back pop in the first wave. This is this is love. What's love? Anyways, let's see. Let's 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 just not get a, a really hard proc on my base. I would definitely appreciate that. Or a pumpkin. Oh. Oh. Yo, where are my heroes at? Where are they at? Okay, I don't know. Okay. So are you telling me that if I get a split, I'm going to just die because of procs? That's not a good first showing for this base. Oh my god. I... I... I'm guessing Reapers and Thunder Gods procced, and then that was pretty much it. That I was dead. I'm guessing, because that was brutal. That, that was just a fluke, guys. Let me go ahead and put my bombs down, and we can go ahead and give that a try, because, man, we couldn't even get past T1. What's going on there? Hopefully, we can get a spawn in one side, but, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be hoping for that. I might have to make some changes here. On the fly. Let's see. T1. Oh, God. Don't tell me that's the normal stuff that will happen with this spawn. Because if it is, I'm going to have to change something. 
I can't be having that. Because not even... Like, Guardians wouldn't even help here. Oh, my God. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, there goes Destroyer. He destroyed. He lived up to his name. But, man. I, I have nothing left. Somebody died. Or was that the revive thing working? No, somebody died. Who the hell died? Cupid? It would be Cupid that died, too. Man. Well, Destroyer, um, you, you, wow, you got destroyed is what happened there. Okay, so right now, really, my Achilles heel is this base. It is not working out. They wipe my heroes before they even come into the base. What the hell is that? That is, wow. I don't know. Let me just go ahead and summon some guardians. Because, but I mean, even if I summon guardians, if I get that split spawn, it's not going to be too good because they're, they're finishing off the camps before I'm even, I don't know. There's too much proccing going on here before they even reach. I cannot believe I'm actually waiting for a back pop. Can you believe that? Holy crap. It seems this base just struggles to get past T1. It's not a good look. Alright, let's see. So the bombs are set. There's some guardians out to kind of... Well, they're still summoning, but there's some guardians out to kind of just make sure that if Reaper procs, it doesn't always just go straight on my heroes. But, wow, that, yeah. Not a good look. Hopefully we can get a wave directly on one side and that's it. I mean, seriously, we really need that right now. Oh, we got a back pop. And are we dead? Are we dead? Are we, are we dead? We're dead. But psych, he has revive. Okay, so we might make it out of T1 here. Nope. Nope, because Maltonica's dead. Unless... Oh! Maltonica might not be dead, after all. I don't know. Let's see. Kill the flyers. Oh, destroyer! That's what I'm talking about. Heal, Druid, heal! Heal, Druid, heal! Yes! Okay, so... Hey, we made that out of T1. That's a win, right? Okay, now we're getting okay spawns because now they're going to go to that side together. Destroyer is going to go over here and hopefully destroy. Okay. Yo, destroy, get inside. All right, so here we go. Destroyer, destroy. Wow, what is going on here? I have no idea what just happened there. Why did they... They probably took out the, the building. I don't know. But... This wave ain't looking too hot already. Wow. They both died in the same spot. It looks like. Dang, man. T3. I mean, that's, that's a tall task to ask for. Even if it is, Vlad. Man. Look at this. I have... Maltanica coming up. Spirit Mage. Reaper. Wow. And then... Of all people, Ninja takes me out. Like, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Vlad didn't even die. Yeah, this this base is really an Achilles heel. I really feel like it's, it's a detriment, really. Hmm. Too much procking going on. It's like you have to rely on the right spawns at the beginning also. Instead of just at the end. That's a... That's a bad recipe right there. I don't know. You guys let me know what base you think would be best. Because I'm, I'm sketchy about this one. And how it's performed so far. The That last wave looked okay. Until everybody started dying. I don't know. Let me get it. go ahead and get some guardians summoned up here. Man, if, if this turns out to be a total fail because of the base. I will definitely have to do one. Another Hebrew Monsters TV video tomorrow you can't go out like this this is horrible all right so the guardians are spawning let's go ahead and do t again 
And, oh, we get another back pop. Man, oh, man. And, wow. Did Motanica and Pumpkin Duke die already? Okay, it looks like Pumpkin Duke hasn't died. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, oh, and Cupid is dead too. Yeah, this this base. Mm. And look, my walls are gone. They were like water walls. Water walls. This is not a good look, man. Mm. Druid, I need heals. Well, there went Destroyer. He did something there. But my my hero bases are already gone. I get the spawn on both sides now, which is actually not... I don't even know if it's a good thing or not. I don't know. I have no idea, man. There goes Multanica because of that Spirit Mage proc in the other side. Wow, this is... This is nuts. I know I can do better, though. It's the base. We're just going to blame the base right now. And everything's dead. Hmm. Just keep summoning guardians. Even though they're making... A, no difference, really. This is horrible. Uh, and I can only really make... Minimal, if, if anything, just minimal changes. I don't know. And I forgot my bombs in the last one. Though, I don't think it would have mattered, but... Hmm. I definitely will need suggestions on a new base. Because this one... It, it's not passing the eyeball test. Or the results test, by that matter. Alright, let's see. Let's give it another shot. We got two more shots. Let's see what we get. What is this? What? They both spawned in the same side? Is this the actual spawn this freaking base needs? For them to clear it out quick? But even if they do, like that's a huge powerful wave coming at me. That's crazy. I guess we'll see how this goes. Oh boy. Look at this wave. Whoa! What is going on? Okay. Wow. I mean, isn't that the spawn that... I think I'm going to have to go back to the old base that I was using. Because that seems to be a better base than this one. This one's... This one sucks. This one sucks, seriously. It's horrendous. Not liking it, but we gotta do one more run and then we'll call it quits because this sucked, man. Unless we get like a successful run here. This base, I don't know what it is because I mean, I don't really see the big difference, but I'm thinking it's the side here. It's just, I don't know. It's just something's wrong with it. Let's run this last one and see what we can do. And we get the split. Of course. Of course we get the split. Because because why not? Why not? Oh, here we go. There's a pumpkin duke that's going to proc. Perfect. Yes. Especially what we needed. Yes. Wow. And look. My walls are gone. My destroyer is... No, wait. No, he's not gone. Who the heck... Who the heck just died? Uh, Multanica's gone. Cupid's gone. My chances are gone. Hmm. This is nuts, man. And Vlad, I mean... He can only do so much. Wow! All right. Yeah, this this base sucked. I think who was it that used this base? Haru was it Haruki? No, I don't know. I don't know who it was, but this base is no. Don't use it. Don't use it. What I'm here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do another video tomorrow, 
Hubie Monsters 3, along with the Torch Battle ones, because this was absolutely horrendous. Holy crap. I'm going to have to go back to my bottom corner base, the one that I actually got to T4 with, because this wasn't working. No matter the heroes that I would have had in there, it, it's just not going to work. This little setup right here is what's making me lose. And making me lose early because essentially what's happening is Pumpkin Duke is procking. And you get, I mean, let's be honest, that Pumpkin Duke, is, it's got to be 9 of 9. So you get a 9 of 9 Pumpkin Duke procking. And then all of a sudden you get a Multanica procking, which is going to take off all of these walls or these walls, whichever one, which then leaves this pathing here totally useless it's just it's not a it's not a good combo it's just not so i'm gonna go ahead here and work on a new base i would definitely take some suggestions from you guys bases that you think will do the trick or should i just go back to the one that i beat s with open to suggestions but i will do another video tomorrow guys because this sucked i i no, this sucked but yeah thank you for watching guys and until later bye